Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. For today, I'm going to show you guys how to prepare for the guild Khan raid whether you're a new member or you're an officer or you're a leader. Everyone has a role to play so it's important that you guys know how to go about preparing it so that the raid can start on time. Because if you don't start on your allocated time, you may affect the next guild that is behind your slot. All right. So before anyone actually goes for the raid, it's not just that you have to follow this guide to prepare you also have to watch the rotation okay for Khan guild raid in order to kill the boss there is this basic rotation on the screen right now that you need to watch and also once you learn the basic rotation you need to learn how to load the crystal cannonball which is in this second video that I've already covered Learning the second crystal rotation is important is because only the crystal cannonball does the real damage to the boss. Okay, so the first rotation is only to do minimal damage. The crystal rotation does the real damage. So everyone should be learning that as well. And I have all this on my website here for you guys. So be sure to check out the website links in this video's description. So tip number one is to bring a character that is level 49 or below so that you will be immune from other player attacks if that were to occur. Because what other people will do is that they will bring their ships to start firing cannonballs at you guys and the damage is very devastating. So to bring a level 49 and below means the game doesn't allow PvP to be initiated on you. So you are immune from attacks. Tip number two is for all guilds to be mindful and to pre-select a server. For example, let's say that your guild has pre-selected Serendia 2 because of the fact that it doesn't have any not war affecting the hours, then that's good. Every member should go to that server 15 minutes before the gathering time. This is so that if by the time you guys start to gather, and Serendia 2 is not available, you guys will not be in the 10 to 15 minute server change cooldown. You guys can instantly switch server to another server 2 or whichever server that works for you guys. So be sure to go to the allocated server 15 minutes before the gathering time. And always confirm the server that you guys are going to on voice channel only. Do not use the guild chat in-game because if there are other conversations on other parties that is going on, this may lead to a member reading the wrong info, going into the wrong server, and if he ends up there with the server cooldown restriction, then you will end up having to wait another 10 to 15 minutes just for one person. So always, if any member asks for what server is the guild rate, tell them over the voice channel. So it's good for all members to actually be on the voice channel maybe 5 to 10 minutes before the gathering time. The next step for leaders and members is this. All of you guys need to be in town, all right? Valia town, Hyder town, any town, all right? After that, you need to press G and with G, it opens up the guild window. You want to go to this guild storage icon. You want to click on it and this is your guild storage. The next thing you want to do for leaders is to take at least 300 pledge of blood. I will show you at the end of the video how to get this pledge of blood. Don't worry so much about it. So you want to take out at least 300 for the skill summoning that you'll be using later and for members all members including the leader experience member the monster bane cannon assembly kit you need to take one you need to take two all right for new members first timer you may want to take three just in case they keep breaking on you now the last thing you want to know is this in my first cannon rotation guide you will learn about monster bane cannonball this one you will take about 70 to 80 pieces all right now in my second Khan rotation crystal ball sequence loading you will learn about this black crystal cannonball this one you just take eight all right don't take too much because everyone needs to take a significant amount so eight for every member will be more than enough to kill the boss okay you don't need more than eight usually 
Now, in my inventory, this item on the right is called the Black Crystal Cannonball. You cannot obtain this from NPC. You can only obtain it using the flex roll during the raid, which I will cover this in my next week's video. So be sure to actually subscribe to this channel. Check out my website because I'm going to do a guide on the flex roll next week. Now, for the time being, the remaining items can be obtained from the Guild Manager NPC, but I'm going to go through the do and don'ts with you guys so be patient and follow through on this item the first thing is this you go to this NPC the guild manager at Valia he's just opposite the central market director you press R to interact with him you go to the guild shop over here now as you do guild missions you will have guild funds so for this pledge you will need about 300 pledge in order to do a guild summon you want to click the pledge itself and you want to click buy multiple and you can buy 300 of it or you can buy more at 1000 each so once you bought this guild pledge you want to exit open up your guild storage and then you can put it in okay for the cannonball and cannon kit itself although you can buy it using the guild funds in the guild shop i don't advise you to do that okay i have a guide as well which talks about guild bonus payout and a lot of mistakes that guilds actually make so make sure to check that guide out as well if you're interested in that and for that to save funds what i advise you guys to do is this you press g you go to the guild storage, you click on this Old Moon Combat Seal or this Old Moon Life Seal, which you get all this by doing guild missions, okay? So for now, I'm just going to take 10,000, all right? going to take 10,000 of this Combat Seal and I'm going to put it in my inventory like this. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click this guild manager, but I'm not going to the guild shop. Instead, I'm going to go to this exchange icon. In this exchange icon, you can see if I have the old moon combat seal in my inventory, I will be able to use it to exchange for the cannonball and also the assembly kit. So you can use this method to exchange for it and thus not wasting your guild funds. Once you exchange for it, for example, I'm just going to take some of it. Okay, just going to continue to exchange for a few pieces here. And once I exchange it, I can exit, open the guild storage again. And what I can do is I can start to put all these pieces into the guild storage. Now, guild leader and officers can do this. All right. So if you need to replenish the cannonball and the cannon kit, please use the guild combat seal, whether it's a life seal or combat seal, use it to replenish, put it into the guild storage so that the guild members can obtain it from the guild storage, all right? So once you get all this preparation done with all the cannonball, cannon kit, black crystal ball, and you have already confirmed the server, let's say Serendia 2 for the raid, what you need to do is to ensure that all members right now are in the same Serendia 2 server, okay? That's very important because if you're not in the same server as the leader, you won't get summoned. The second thing you need to understand is this, you should not be on your horse, you should not be on any form of mount you shouldn't be in the water or on the ship you should be standing on the ground okay just standing on the ground like this if not during the summon some things may go wrong if you are in the waters you may disconnect and stuff like that don't be on your horse because your horse will also be summoned to the red spot okay and to bring it back to town means you got to kill it later so for leaders and officers normally they will actually come to the guild spot first and they'll find an area where they can sit down some Thing like this okay in standby mode once they sit down they'll press f5 to release this message board and then they will click things like Khan raid okay which stands for Khan raid itself at maybe uh, 8 p.m. GMT plus 8 okay they will press enter and this message will actually show so any other guilds coming in will know that this guild has already reserved Khan for 8 p.m and they will probably go for another time slot or change the server if they have to be on the same time typically there is two spots that the guild leader will summon the members the first one is at the raid spot which is over here where the character is the second one is up on the town around this area which i'll show you guys shortly as well so to summon the guild the guild leader just needs to press g on the keyboard this is basically the guild window and then go to this guild 
icon over here, which is the guild skill. In the guild skill window, there is this icon that looks like that. It's called the command together. So what the guild leader needs to do is to do a right click and the whole guild will be summoned, okay? A flag which looks like this will be blinking on the top right of your screen. All members need to do is to click on it and accept the summoning and you guys will be teleported here. Guild leaders must remember, if you want to summon your guild, you need to have the pledge, okay? You need to have this pledge in your inventory. If you don't have this pledge, you can't activate the summoning. The summoning requires 250 pledge. It's actually cheaper than a guild buff. So 250 50 guild pledge of blood is enough for you to do a summoning okay this summoning has an 11 hour cooldown so remember don't use it 11 hours before the raid okay otherwise you won't be able to use this skill as I mentioned earlier there are actually two summoning spots so what is this second summoning spot if you have a guild member that is a first timer here, you will want to summon your guild at this spot itself because they need to obtain the island's knowledge, okay? This is not a town. I must remind you guys again and again, this is not a town. This is only a safe zone. And when you press M, you can see this figuring over here is at the northern part of this island. When you first summon a first timer, you want the first timer to follow you into this this safe zone village. You want the first timer to walk up to here so that at the center of his or her screen, it will say you have gained the knowledge of this island. Now, why is this important? Because when you die, you will get two options. Number one, spawn to town or number two, spawn to safe zone. Because this is not a town like what I mentioned, you have to remind your guild members if they die, they will need to spawn to safe zone and not a town, all right? If you spawn to a town, you end up somewhere else very far away from here. And for most guilds, what I will recommend as well is that you bring along a medical kit, okay? I'm not sure if I have it in my inventory here or can you buy it from the NPC over here, but a medical kit is a good item to have like for example i'll show you right now i have it on my raid character over here this is what we call a medical kit if you have a medical kit you can resurrect a member that has gone down okay so be sure to buy this medical kit if you want to learn how to use it i can make a guide a quick guide of this for you guys as well so after you have summoned the whole guild and new members got the island's knowledge all you need to do is just run down the path Okay, you just need to run down from here, take this whole path and run in this circle until you come to this spot over here. So this is your guild raid spot. Okay, you can run from this direction or run from the normal direction. Usually we just run on straight down this path because this is where all the ships are docking. So you won't get lost when you follow this path itself. Okay, as you can see, I've already pathed myself and that is the steps that you are learning. All the steps on top that you are seeing right now on my screen. This is the one that you guys learned through my Khan Guild Raid Part 1. You just climb up this stairs over here, okay? And then just keep on going, all right? I know this stairs can be quite irritating at times, so just bear with it, okay? This portion, you have seen it in my Khan rotation, okay? The Cannonball rotation number one. And that is the spot over there, okay? Over at this spot. So I'll just continue running and running and running to the spot because I need to show you something else. Once you reach this spot, okay, this little rocky area, new players be sure to set up your cannonball not on top, not on the side, but behind this rock because the boss is going to spawn in the center of the water area over here. To protect yourself from the initial damage, you want to hide behind this rock and you want to set up your cannon kit. And how do you set up your cannon kit with the reload window? You got to watch my other guide to find out, okay? But for now, this is the safest point for you to set up the cannon kit. And after that, when you go to the sides here or when you go up all the way, try not to stand too close to the edge here because if you were to stand too close, the damage you receive is going to be higher on the cannon. So you want to stand back a bit, maybe midpoint here at the center of the rock over here against the boss which will be spawning right in the middle. Okay, so be mindful of this as well. 
So be sure to check out my website for more guides. Let it help your new members in coaching them on what to do as a beginner. Take the website, put it in your Discord, and do me a favor by helping me to like, share, and subscribe to this channel as well, okay? Every like you click on the thumbs up on this video really helps to grow this channel, and I really appreciate it if you guys can subscribe to it. And perhaps, maybe, who knows, we can hit 10k subscribers by the end of this year. So so if you need any more help, be sure to also drop by my Discord server for free item coupon codes. Yes, we have a full list of all region platform codes over there. So be sure to come and grab all the free item codes as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to take care, have a good life and bye bye.